Hello, my name is Elena Rivera, and this is going to be a short film all about me. So, my full name is Elena Isabel Rivera. My parents almost named me Isabel, but then ended up going with Elena after my mother's middle name, Elaine, causing them to make my middle name Isabel. I was born on December 22, 2000 at the National Naval Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland. As a kid, I was very bashful and didn't really like being social, so I typically kept to myself. Um, you could often see me wandering around in cowgirl boots and a cowgirl hat with my bare baby in my arms. I took baby everywhere when I was young and I still have her to this day. I also played almost every sport you could think of, including soccer, dance, basketball, softball, golf, swim team, cheerleading, and gymnastics, but nothing really stuck with me because I preferred staying home and making things rather than being on a team with other people, which just further exemplifies how much I hated social interaction. I've lived in Maryland almost my entire life, and I've lived in the Anne Arundel County area, as you see on this map for the bulk of it as well. My immediate family includes my dad, my mom, my little sister, and my older brother. When I was 16 years old, my parents got a divorce. Um, my dad ended up keeping the house and my mom moved my siblings and I into my grandparents' house. My dad did fight for joint custody, so we ended up having to do um, weekly dinners. But right now, my little sister still has to live there every other week. But since I was only 16 and my brother was only 17 or 18, we didn't have to visit him as often as my little sister did. Um, the house that he kept was just down the street from my grandparents' house because my grandmother had Parkinson's disease, so we would want to visit her often. So my dad still lives just down the street from us. This is my mom, Cindy Rivera. I live with her full time. Say hi, mom. Hi. My mom was born in Maryland, and after graduating high school, she became a dental tech for the Air Force. Um, after she left that, she went into nursing, and now she is a computer analyst for hospital um, computer systems. My mom was the only parent I remember having around when I was younger because she would work at nights and be home during the days when my dad was at work. Um, she's the strongest person I know and I love being around her and I definitely hope I got a lot of my personality from her. This is a banh mi, a traditional Vietnamese sandwich. It's one of the many foods that my grandmother taught my mom how to make and thank God she did because Asian food is my favorite. These are my mom's parents, Yao and James Garrett. Um, Yao, my grandmother, was born in Vietnam, and my grandfather, James, was born in Baltimore, Maryland. My grandparents met during the Vietnam War when my grandfather was drafted, and when I was born, my grandmother took care of me alongside my mom. My grandmother spoke very broken English, so there was definitely a language barrier, um, but I could tell she loved me because she would always smile and try to give me food and just make me happy. My grandmother was also a practicing Buddhist, so she was very spiritual and she had a high um, appreciation for family, so she would definitely always try to do the best by her family. In fact, she would visit Vietnam often to visit her family back home and give them money and make sure that they're all okay. And each time she would, she would come home again and bring me back gifts like this traditional ao yai. My grandmother eventually found out that she had Parkinson's disease, which is a central nervous system malfunction that affects your movement. So she would fall often and injure herself. And, and in fact, um, in 2013, she passed away after suffering a severe head trauma from one of her falls. My grandfather loved my grandmother very much, so when she passed away, he took it very hard. My grandfather now lives in Florida, and he's actually one of the funniest people I know, and he's always cracking jokes and telling puns, so he definitely knows how to make my day. My grandparents had five kids, and my mom is the second oldest of them. 
Um, she has three sisters and one younger brother, and this image is from my cousin's wedding just this past year, and this is the entire family. This is my mom's house, and right now we're gonna go head over to my dad's, so hold on. And this is my dad's house. This is my father, Luis Rivera Sr. Right now we're sitting at his pond that he made in his backyard. Say hello, Dad. Hi, everybody. My dad was born in El Paso, Texas. He is the second youngest of seven other siblings. So I come from a very large family on his side. When my dad left El Paso, he joined the Air Force where he eventually retired. My dad's parents are Angel and Amelia. They were both born in Mexico and eventually moved to El Paso, Texas, where they still live. Um, they both only speak Spanish, so there's another language barrier because I was never taught how to speak Spanish. I would love to eventually learn how to speak Spanish so that I could communicate with them because I do love them very much. Um, and I know that they struggle with communicating with me as well. In these pictures, you can see about a third of my family, including my aunts, uncles, and cousins. In my immediate family, I am the middle child of an older brother and a younger sister. Um, my brother is named Luis and my sister is Elise. This is my brother, Luis Rivera Jr. and he is 23 years old. Say hi. Hello. Luis is only two years older than me and he was named after my father. Uh, we got along pretty well growing up, but we did butt heads here and there, but he was all around a great big brother. Before Elise was born, we had a younger brother named Mateo. He was born in 2005 when we were still living in Texas, but he passed away for an unknown reason when he was only a year old. It was really hard for me to understand when I was only five years old, um, but I can remember still how much I hated having a little brother because he would always pull my hair. But looking back now, I only wish I could have spent more time with him. This is my little sister, Elise. She is 13 years old and she's getting ready for volleyball right now, so she can't be too long. Say hi. Hello. When we moved back to Maryland in 2006, I hoped and prayed for another younger sibling, and I really wanted a little sister, so I prayed and prayed, and I finally got my wish. Elise was born in 2008, and we all wanted to give her a very meaningful name, so we made it a combination of all the children's names. Um, Elise came from Elena and Louise, and her middle name is Matea after Mateo. Elise is a really caring person, and in this picture you can see her with both of our dogs. Say hello! This is Anya. She's two years old, and she is a Labradoodle. When she was a puppy, she was actually a darker brown, more like a chocolate color, but she's turning blondish gray now. So yeah, we got Anya in October of 2019. She was a really small puppy and actually one of the last of her litter. We named her after the Russian princess Anastasia because we had just seen it that year. Uh, Anya's really playful, loves playing in water, and she just loves being around other humans. This is Zoe. She's 14 years old. She's a schnoodle, which is a schnauzer and poodle mix. And she's so sweet. Um, she stays with my dad, and she was my first um, dog. Say hello, Zoe! Zoe is my childhood dog. Um, after my parents got divorced, Zoe ended up having to stay with my dad, so I rarely got to see her unless I went over to his house. When she was a puppy, she was very playful, but as she's getting older, she's kind of mellowed out. Apart from my family, I went to Old Mill High School where I was in the International Baccalaureate program with this entire group of people. This was our senior picture with the IB class. Uh, we were supposed to wear our college gear and as the picture zooms in, that's me right there. And luckily I was in the IB program with my three best friends, Melanie, Sarah, and Jennifer. Um, I had known Melanie since 6th grade, Sarah since 5th grade, and Jennifer since freshman year of high school. We've stayed really close and yeah. Sarah was actually the person who got me into running track freshman year of high school and I'm so glad she did because I ended up really loving it and doing it all four years. In June of 2019, I graduated high school and I went to community college at AACC. 
where I went for two years. In the fall of 2021, I transferred to Towson University where I further pursued my major. Hey, just walking my next class at Towson University. I'm an elementary education major. Plus, I'm not the only one in my family to go here. My grandfather, my aunt, my uncle, and my older brother have all gone here. Go Tigers! I realized that I wanted to become a teacher probably in about 7th or 8th grade of middle school. Um, I first wanted to be a veterinarian because I always knew I wanted to help and make a difference in the world, so I thought I could do that by helping animals because I love animals as well, but I cannot handle blood, so that was a no-no. I have two aunts on my mom's side who are teachers, and one of them used to let me help her grade her students' papers, and I had a really fun time doing that. So that's kind of what sparked me to want to become a teacher. And then I tested it out when I took a child development class in high school and I found out that I really enjoy being around kids and making lesson plans. So that's what brought me to it. Aside from school, I work a retail job in the mall by my house. Um, I've worked there for quite a while and I started working when I graduated high school. I don't know. Go. Hi again. I can't talk too long. I'm at work right now. I worked here at Airy for two years, and it was actually my first job, and I couldn't be happier. I'm ready to check out. Oh, gotta go. Talk again later. Something that I really enjoy doing is collecting things. Actually, when I was younger, I would pick anything off of the ground and just put it in a little plastic baggie and keep it in my room and call it my collection. Um, now that I'm older, I've definitely grown out of that and I've started real collections like I have a postcard collection of everywhere I've gone or my friends have gone and I get them to send me postcards and I also have been trying to collect antique cameras. The next couple pictures are just some of the shelves that are hanging in my room. Um, in the first one, you can see a yellow submarine Lego that my grandfather got for me because he actually introduced me to the Beatles when I was very young and I still love them. Um, next are a couple um, pops, which are collectibles, another part of my collections. Um, the first one is Stitch and the next one is Forrest Gump because that is my favorite movie. And then underneath you can see a Polaroid camera. Um, it's in its case right now so you can't really tell it's a camera. And then next to it is a picture of my friends and I from prom. In this image you can see a couple framed pictures. One is with my mom and the other one is with Mateo. Uh, you can also see two Polaroid cameras. They do not work but I just think they are beautiful. And I'm also into photography so I think those are pretty neat. And then on the furthest right side, um, that butterfly is something that my dad found and framed for me in Texas in probably about 2004 or 2005, and I've had it ever since. On the bottom right as well, you can see a pin holder that I made, and it's holding a part of my pin collection because I have a lot more besides those. <laughs> I also really enjoy being outdoors, so I love going on hikes, walks, um, after joining track I've learned to love running, I really need to get back into it, um, and apart from being outside, I like being inside just to do crafts and art and make things. Oh hi! Just taking Ivy on a walk. We like to go on the trail by my house just to get outside. See you in a bit! So yeah, I would say being outside has become a very big part of my life, especially after getting a dog. She definitely keeps us active. Um, the picture here is of Harper's Ferry when I went just this past time with my friends. But besides going out with my friends, uh, my mom, sister, and I would go on daily excursions, either to like the zoo or go walking or um, just go hiking. Out of my entire family, I would say that I'm the closest with my mom and my sister. Um, we spend a lot of time together just laughing and talking, and we really enjoy each other's company. So yeah, that is the story of Elena Isabel Rivera. Not much else to say. Um, I think, although I have gone through quite a bit of situations, um, I wouldn't change any part of my life 
for anything because I think each experience I've had has just been a lesson and I wouldn't be the person I am today if I hadn't undergone any of those situations. So thank you for watching and I hope you found out a little bit about Elena Rivera.